Hello again. I um, thought I'd do a quick video on one of these engine preheaters. This is a Wabasto Thermotop V diesel preheater. Come from a Land Rover Discovery 3 or a Range Rover Sport. And basically, it uh, burns diesel, heats up a coolant, which gets pumped around the engine and uh, heats up the engine when it's cold. So this is the coolant circulation pump. Put coolant in from your engine, burns diesel, heats it up, pumps it back out to your engine. So I'll uh, strip it down so you can see how it's done. Um, here's the fuel input, the exhaust and the air input and connectors. So to do this you need mostly Torx sockets of my T15, T20, um, T40 I think as well. So I'll take these mounts off. Oh, T25. Then on this side, you've got to take the coolant pump off to get to one of the bolts hidden back here. So I need to disconnect the electric plug. Just as a clip to release. Take the coolant hose off. And there's one bolt down here, which is the T30. just a simple clamp that holds the coolant pump on. And again, three T25 bolts hold this mount on the side. With the main unit itself, so I've got to take these covers off either side, which are little plastic tabs in there. Just fry them up. That opens up the electronic side, and then this side you've got to take the coolant. Outputs out. <coughs> One T25 bolt down the middle. There are O ring seals in there. And again, same with this cover. This one's a little bit more awkward. So on this side, this covers up the fan. There's a little colour slots up there. So behind here is the fan. Again, this pops off. It's just a cover that covers the fan. Down here is the coolant temperature sensors. That wiring runs into the ECU. 
This plug here goes off to your glow plug. This is another plug here, isn't used on this model, but that's for um, fuel preheating and some of them have a solenoid valve. So again, just squeeze these two tabs either side of this plug. This is a corn temp sensor wiring and the ECU is T15, four T15 screws. CCU pulls off. And then inside there you have the motor for the fan. And this is also the air intake for the fan. Can while we're here take the exhaust off. Again, it doesn't need to come off to strip it down. And then to get the main body apart, to get into the burner, there's three screws around the outside here, which are T25s. find that the fan housing lifts up you just got to pry this cable down so that's the fan housing and the air intake assembly there's a fan inside here and there runs through the, into there and out through there <coughs> well, here is the burner part of it this wire goes to the glow plug just here. Fuel around the other side, in through the top. And then you can lift this out. That's the uh, combustion chamber. And burner tube. And it burns the fuel right down here heats up the coolant that's running through this water jacket inside here. And then, uh, yeah, it heats up your engine before you start it on really cold mornings. So hopefully that is useful for someone. I've got this because I'm going to be fitting it to my Sprinter, well not this one, I've got another one, I've made a, one good one out of the two, as you can see a lot of them come with the connectors broken off. So I bought another one that's a bit newer and cleaner and swap the ECU casing over, you can undo these little screws here, take the ECU off and just swap this plastic casing on top. Because this one is a 2011 model and um, they are immobilized, you have to get them immobilized, unimmobilized. Whereas the one I've got is a 2007 one which isn't immobilized. But you can swap parts over between the two, apart from the ECU. So yeah, that is a Wabasto Thermotop V out of a Land Rover Discovery or Range Rover Sport. Uh, all stripped down.